Hi folks. As you all remember, two years ago on Youth Day, along with churches across the country, had to quickly adapt the ministry we'd been doing in person to an online format. And I don't have to tell you that transition was pretty rough. There were technical issues and glitches. There were pastors who did entire portions of the liturgy with the mute button on. It was a mess. But we made it through, didn't we? We learned and grew together, finding out how to make the best of a difficult situation. Since then, we've all learned quite a lot. Church members like you have become proficient at Zoom and learned to navigate the world of online church and streaming. Our staff have been learning new software and hardware to make those online interactions work. And pastors, like me, have been working hard to figure out how not just to show in-person worship online, but to actually make hybrid worship its own thing. It's really important to me that people like you worshiping online are not just spectators to what's happening in the building, but that all of us are doing this one thing together. And I wanted to acknowledge today that that's been really hard lately. We've been encountering some different issues with our streaming setup, notably with the sound quality and the sync between the audio and the video. I know that's frustrating. It frustrates me too, because I wanna make sure that folks like you can still connect to your congregation in a way that's meaningful. And these problems make it hard to do that. You have all been so patient with us as we have tried to identify and solve these problems. But I know that that gets annoying and distracting. It interferes with your ability to worship. And so I want to thank you for the grace and the patience you've demonstrated by continuing to show up in the midst of all of this. Our problem, in a nutshell, lies in the fact that our system is pretty jury-rigged. It works, but it was put together quickly by people like me who didn't really know what we were doing uh, from a bunch of disparate parts that weren't necessarily designed to work together for the purpose we're using them. Now, that, of course, means that our production value hasn't been the best, but something tells me you're not here because of our production value. It's not the um, polish on our videos that's got you worshiping here. I think that you might be here because you felt connected to this community in some way. And unfortunately, the problems that we're experiencing now are hampering your ability to connect, and that's why I want to solve them. I have been getting some different bids to figure out what it will cost us to upgrade our setup and get some hardware that's designed for this specific purpose. My hope is that it will remove some of those barriers preventing you from connecting with and worshiping with your, congreg your congregation. We still won't have professional grade videos necessarily, but my hope is that you will not only have to uh, not put up with static or feedback or video that is sometimes minutes behind the audio, but that will be able to help you feel more present to the whole worship experience. Now, obviously that's gonna cost some money, but honestly, I'm not worried about that. Anu's Day has already demonstrated that we value the place of hybrid ministry in our community, that it's important to us that people have the opportunity to connect and worship digitally. We've already had a few members that have put some money towards uh, worship upgrades, technology upgrades. And I think that once we have a goal in mind and tell people what we're doing, others will contribute as well. In fact, maybe you'd even like to contribute. And if you would, I think that's great. And I wholeheartedly encourage you to do that. You can go to our website, onustaylutheran.org slash give, and just choose other from that drop-down menu and then specify streaming upgrade in the memo. Or if you would prefer to send in a check, just write streaming upgrade in the memo line. But that's not really why I'm here today. My main purpose in coming to you right now is simply that I want you to know that we are aware of these issues and that we are taking steps to address them. It might take a little bit of time. In fact, I know it will take some time because that's how things work in the church. We just move kind of slow here, but that's okay. It might take some time but this is a priority to us because you are a priority. Some of you are worshiping online because you're still concerned about COVID. 
Others are unable to leave their homes for other reasons. We've also got folks who are worshiping online from places far and wide, well away from Gig Harbor. And we even have people who worship in the building when they can, but simply don't want to miss worship and miss connecting with this community when they're away. Whoever you are, each of you is an important member of this community. And we are all grateful for the gifts that you each bring to Anu's Day. Your presence here matters to everybody. And so we want to make sure that that time that you have here is good. We want to make sure that this important part of our ministry continues. So right now, I just want to say thank you for your support and thank you for your patience as we work on a solution. <laughs>